All right. Um, this is just another uh, progression question. I find it a bit hard for some student. Okay, so basically they ask us to sum all the number here and then yeah by using the arithmetic progression. So okay, be before we uh, start to sum all of them. Okay, so what we want to do now is um, we we try to see the relationship of each of the number here. 17, uh, 19, 24, and then dot, 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 and then we have 82 and 87. Okay, if you see carefully, you can see here is basically plus 2, here is plus 5, and then here is plus 2, here is plus 5, and so on. So we can see it keep on plus 2 and plus 5 in the next. So you, you know that this is not like just one progression. Okay, whenever you see they don't have any constant common difference here, basically means they actually join of two or more progression here. So obviously what I want to do first is I'm going to separate them. So this is how I'm going to separate them. I'm going to take the 1, 3, uh, 5, uh, 7 and so on to form the, to form the um, arithmetic progression. So this is what happened is I have 3, uh, I have 10, I have 17, I have 24. So you can see right now all of them is plus 7. Isn't it? This makes sense. Okay, so this progression is fine. Then I would take all the even number here, like 5, 12, so to form another progression. 5, 12, 19. And then the next one over here, this one is plus 2, right? 26. So you can see all of them is plus 7 also, right? For now. Okay. Okay. Then the next thing we need to be worry is if 82 or 87 is belong to which one so if you can see the pattern of the number here you realize the green color one the, the even one have the two over here right? and with two and with two so i will guess i will guess huh? it's not 100 percent sure it's the last term for this one okay and then you can see the red color one will will have one number is n with 7 n with 7 so I will guess this one is belong to 87 but definitely it's not only guessing we need to prove it also right somehow so definitely over here I want to plus all the term here so I want to do sn so I want I need to know what is the last term here so therefore I will do the tn equals to 87 since this is arithmetic progression I will do a plus n minus 1d right a plus n minus 1 d d is 7 isn't it equal to 87 okay if i solve until the end my n will get decimal number right then i know uh, maybe 87 is not the last term maybe it's 82 or or uh, other number okay so i kind of need to solve this one uh, really quick so this one um 87 minus 3 so 87 i use a calculator like 87 minus 3 then we get 84 right then 84 divided by 7 because I have a multiply 7, right? I divide 7. Then I got 12. I got the whole number and then it's nice. So then I know n minus 1 is equal to 12. n equals to 13. So my last term here is 13. Okay? If you want to write the number of terms, is rd, then 13. Okay? Then I will do the same thing for 82. I want to know what is the last term for second progression. So I will do tn equals to 87, uh, 82. Sorry. So, a plus n minus 1, d is 7 also, right? It's 82. Then n minus 1 um, is equal to 82 minus 5 divided by 7, isn't it? So 82 minus 5, and then divide by 7. I got 11, isn't it? So n equals to 11 plus 1, 12. So the last term for this one is 12 term. Okay, so after I got all this, then I want to sum of all this number, right? So what you need to do is for this one, if I want to do something like uh, 3 plus 10 plus 17 plus this one plus until the end, this one is just called sum of first 13 term, isn't it? S13. So we just need to do this one. So it's n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1, which is 12, d is 7. Okay, you can use this one, but since already know the last term, I'm not going to do so long. So remember, we have another formula for Sn, right? N over 2, and then A plus L, isn't it? Yeah, this is just the faster way to sum all the terms, if you have the last term. 
So I got to save myself some time. Three plus eighty-seven. So then this one you use a calculator lah. N over two bracket and then ninety right. You plus them, you get ninety. So this one add together is eight five eight. Then I'm going to do the same formula for the second progression. So I do say uh, s twelve sum of all the twelve term here. So it's twelve over two. Then this one is two uh, first term plus last term. All right. Then this is uh, this one solve already is six, isn't it? Six multiply this eighty seven, right? Eighty seven. So this is five hundred twenty two. So that I know in order to sum all the term here is basically yeah so the sum will be s13 s13 plus the s12 for the second progression okay so of course i don't want to write like this huh? because they are different progression i just do 85 uh 585 plus 522 so just plus 585 so 1107 okay this is how you do this kind of a little bit k-bars of the arithmetic progression question because the question doesn't hint you uh, the number over here is formed by two different progression you need to get it by understand they don't have the common difference so that i will separate them out to two different progression so in order to get the final answer correct all right so i hope this short video can make you understand about this kind of progression question see you guys in the next video bye bye